In this lesson, I'll show you how to make a very simple line follower and gyro straight program. These two programs will increase the accuracy and consistency of your robot runs, and you may be surprised at how similar and easy they are. These two programs are simple and easy to understand. I can honestly say that my FLL teams have been very effective using similar programs for the EV3s. Following a line and using the gyro to go straight use almost the exact same program because when you use the gyro to go straight, you're basically following an invisible line that only the robot can see. So I'm going to set these two programs up side by side so you can see just how similar they are. The only real difference is whether you are using a gyro or color sensor to guide the robot. So I'm going to start the two programs by just starting with two events, one for a left button and the other for a right button. For both programs, I am going to start with the sensors and I'm going to reset the timer because I'm going to have the programs run for a certain amount of time. The next thing I'm going to do is go into control and they will both need a repeat until command and this is going to tell the robot how long to follow the line or gyro and so I'm going to go into the operators and pull out a greater than operator again for both programs and I'll let both programs run for about eight seconds and then I'm going to come back to the sensors and put in a timer so now the robot is set to run eight seconds because I'm using the timer and I like to reset things, I'm going to go back to control and I'm going to put a wait in right after both of them to give the robot a chance to set before it takes off and I'll set the wait to a half a second. So when the robot's done following the line, I'm going to want the robot to exit this loop and stop moving. So now I'm ready to set up the line follower slash gyro follower programs. For those, I'm going to need to go back into control and bring out the true false variable, the if then else for both of them. And now I need to actually go to my new more movements and make sure I have that selected. And then I'm going to come down to more movements and you have this 50 50 power and I'm going to put that in each of the if and else's. So I'll start this one and I'll set the power for 40 and 30. And this will cause the robot to veer to the right. And then this one will be 30 and 40. And the robot will veer to the left. And I'm gonna set this one up exactly the same way. 40 and 30 and 30 and 40. So since the robot will move towards the slower wheel, if this is true, the robot will move to the right. And if it's false, the robot will move to the left. This is exactly the same. So I'm going to go back to my operators now. And I'm going to use a less than operator. And this is the only place where it begins to get different. Because this one I'm going to set up for the color sensor. I'm going to set it to 50 because that's roughly the value of the black and white line that the robot's going to follow. And now I'm going to go up to sensors and I'm going to bring in the B reflected light sensor because my sensor is on B so that when reflected light is less than 50, it'll steer to the right. And if it's greater than 50, it'll steer back to the left. For this one, we're going to set up with the gyro. So the gyro is going to be set to zero. And I'm going to just come down to the pitch angle button here and place it in there and set it to yaw. And so the only other thing that this program needs is it should probably set the yaw angle to zero before it starts. And now these two programs are ready to go. And let's go see how they work.
I think it's important to understand how these two programs work before you move on to more advanced proportional programs because these programs will help you understand what those programs are doing. Furthermore, these two programs are incredibly effective and will still take you a very long way in guiding your robot and competing in FLL.